In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to light the fourth furnace of Shiver Chill Mountain. So first of all, the first thing which you need to do is, well, you need to be able to head over to Shiver Chill Mountain. Now, just as an FYI, you guys will need to almost complete all of Shiver Chill Mountain before doing this. Now what you have to do is, you teleport over here and you wanna head up. Now, there are two methods of doing this. You can do it the extremely long method, which isn't needed, or you could do it the shortcut method. Now, if you want to use the shortcut method, you guys have to make sure that this door over here isn't blocked by ice. And you also need to complete most of Shiver Chill Mountain in order to do this method. So now, as you guys can see, I'm in a battle over here. And now, once you guys finish this battle, what you will need to do is you will need to head through the door. So let me just quickly speed up this battle. Alrighty guys, so I've just answered my question correctly and it looks like we have just casted our spell doing a grand total of 4000 damage so our first monster has been defeated. Now once again, once you guys defeat this monster, what you want to do is you want to head up through the gate. Now let's open up our chest and it looks like we got 200 gold, 20 shiver chillings. Wait what, we only got 100 gold? That's illegal! But anyways, let's head through the door. Now once you guys head through this door, you guys will notice that a cloaker spawns in over here. Now what you need to do is, you see this door over here? Well, you guys need to head over to that door. So now in order to head over to that door, you must battle this cloaker. So what you have to do is, you have to do this monster battle. Once you do this monster battle, you will be able to pass with no trouble. guys so it seems like our evolved lotus will finally be leveling up so here we go we're gonna have a level 34 evolved lotus or not okay if you ask me guys that looks pretty full to me i mean like what are the odds of that it's super close to leveling up right guys so you've defeated that monster now once you guys defeat that monster what you need to do is you need to head through this gate next to a box with a shovel right so you just head next to the gate and head up over here now we end up over here as you guys can see there are two monsters in our path so now what you guys will need to do is you will need to battle whatever monster spawns in over here and once you battle the monster what you guys want to do is you want to cross over the bridge so let me just do that once again <laughs> After a long battle, we finally answered our last question correct doing 40,000 damage. Once we have defeated your monster with Spondin over here, you guys win the battle. And now obviously, as you guys can see, my Evolve Lotus is finally gonna evolve, woohoo! Wait, it's evolving? What does it evolve into? I think it evolves into a Paradoxius? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already have a Paradoxius. I won't let my Evolve Lotus evolve, but that's still pretty cool. Right guys, so once you've finished the battle and collected your stars, what you need to do is you need to cross the bridge and you need to sneak past the monster on the side over here and head into the cave. Now that you head into the cave, you load up in this area. Now what you guys want to do is you just want to sneak along the bottom side and battle the monster that spawns in over here. Once you guys battle this monster, you want to proceed on head and head up. Right, so let me just quickly finish this battle and I will be back. Okay, so here we go. I've just answered my last question correct and it looks like we shall be casting the spell all out attack and terminating both monsters in an instance. 
So as you guys can see, both monsters are defeated. Now once you guys do this step, what you guys will need to do is you will need to head up. Now once you guys head up, there's a certain amount of steps which you will need to do carefully. Alright guys, so let's just sneak up over there, head across and head up over here. Now we end up over here. As you guys can see, a monster spawns in over here. Now what you guys need to do is you need to defeat the monster which spawned in over here in front of this cave. And then you need to head into the cave. After having a close encounter with this squally and his team of other squallies, I have finally defeated them on 915 health which is pretty low if you ask me. But luckily we have won our battle so it looks like we're going to be getting ourselves our 32 battle stars and some member stars. Now you know what I think is cool in Prodigy? Every monster that we battle against. Right, so you guys know how we get 20 shiver chillings per monster which we battle against? What if Prodigy did it that per monster which we battle we get 20 shiver chillings? So if you battle 3 monsters you can get yourself a grand total of 60 shiver chillings. But that's enough for now, let's head up over here. So as you guys can see there's a cave over there and we head in over here. Right, so now if you appear over here you guys may see two outcomes. There could be a wizard standing over here along with a monster over here. Or there could be no wizard and a monster over here, but you'd have already gone here before. Right, but as you guys can see, for me, there's a monster over here. So now what you guys need to do is you guys need to battle the monster over here and defeat the monster which spawned in. Now, once you guys defeat this monster, I will be telling you guys what you need to do. Alright guys, so I've just casted another all out attack to do a team wipe on my enemy team. Luckily, thanks to this team wipe, we don't have to fight them anymore, and now they all are gone. So now, once you guys have defeated this um, monster battle, what you guys will do is you'll collect all of your stars and all of your golds. And once you guys collect your stars and gold, you guys will need to listen. Alright guys, so once you do this battle, what you guys want to do is you just want to approach the chest and try to open it. If there is a wizard near the chest, what will happen is you guys will end up in a battle. If there is not a wizard near the chest, you guys will be able to open the chest. And once you guys open the chest, as you guys saw, I got myself a power crystal right over there. That's pretty cool. I mean, let's head into our items and look at the power crystal. 
power crystal. Crystal used to power old furnaces and ice caves. Yes. It is a crystal used to power furnaces and ice caves. So now once you guys have done that, all you need to do is you need to teleport back over here. Now once you guys teleport back over to Shivershell Mountain, what you guys want to do is you want to head into the furnace room and you want to click on the last furnace with the arrow on it. Now once you click on the furnace, as you guys can see, we'll be... Now once you click on the furnace, as you guys saw, we yeeted the power crystal in it. And now what you guys can do is, well, you've gotten yourself one an accomplishment. And once you get yourself an accomplishment, there's a secret chest in Crystal Caverns which you guys will be able to unlock. And now once you unlock the secret chest, it gives some pretty cool rewards. Alrighty guys, so that's all for today's video. I, got, I hope you guys did find this video helpful and were able to light the fourth furnace for yourself too. Yeah guys, if you did enjoy this video and found everything you needed, I'd recommend subscribing, turning on that notification bell, giving this video a like, and commenting down below. And I will be catching you all next time, One Doctor Genius out the house. Also, did you guys notice I got myself a new achievement? It's called Turn Up The Heat, yeah.